back. This is video number two on spreadsheets. Today we're going to create a spreadsheet together and it will be a store. That's kind of the theme we're going to keep for this unit. So that way we can add formulas and calculations and so on. So what we're going to do is set this thing up in this session. So you're going to need to pause and then do the uh, activity along with me little by little. You can't obviously remember the whole thing after watching my video the whole way through. So stop and start creating this little by little, just like you probably have done with other units. All right, so let's get started. Um, we're going to take a look at this one that I have, and I will refer back to this one while we create ours. This is uh, when I created Music Emporium. I'm a musician, sax player, so um, I made a little store where I was selling these items. So we're going to set that up and we're going to be open five days a week. We want uh, to find out how many of these items we sold and put those in the cells. And then we want to know uh, what the total number was. We'll use a formula for that and how much it costs us to purchase it from the factory or whatever. Then the price we're going to charge our um, consumer, then this is the margin is the difference between the price we charge and the price we paid for it. And then we'll get a total profit and then the total week's profit and see how much money we made on those items. So let's get started. I'll keep referring back to this. And in fact, I will um, attach something similar to this so you can kind of review it and see it. So I'm going, I'm on my Mac, but I'm going to open up, you can open up your um, apps on your Chromebook and go to your account. So if I'm in Google and the waffle, I'm signed in. So the sheets will be there because it's one of the basic apps that they give you. So we want to go into sheets and this will be a blank one. So it keeps track of all the sheets that I've made. I'm going to open blank and we are going to change the title immediately. You don't want to keep it untitled. So we're going to call this one of my favorite cartoons is Bob's Burgers, but we're going to call this Bob's Dogs. Whoa, I can't spell. All right. So this will be a hot dog shop. I love, I like hot dogs. All right. So um, if you refer, if I refer back to this, we're going to put a title up here. So I'll put it, I'm going to double click inside of cell C1. So you can see that if I click on this, I'm in B1. Three, you see how this lines up. This is how spreadsheets keep track of information. They use the columns, which are letters, and then they intersect with the rows, which are numbers. So if I click on this one, this is E8. You always start with the letter. Okay, anyways, so we're gonna click in C1. And all you have to do really is double click in here. I could click here and click up to this data bar or formula bar, I could do that. But I usually just double click in here, it gives you the same thing and you can type in here. So we're going to change the font and the highlighting and the bolding all later because it's a lot faster. So we're going to title this just what I said, which is Bob's Dogs. And we will actually, let's make this quite large right off the bat. Just highlight it and we're going to make it 18. And if you want to change the font real quick, go ahead. I'll change it to this. That looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll make it 24. Let's make it 24. Okay. So you can see that it, um, it goes from 
C and D it takes up, but we'll deal with that in a little bit later. Okay, so let's uh, go over here and we're going to start, we're going to start with B2. This is where I typically will start the days of the week, B2. So let's, let's label those first. So double click in here. This is really cool. Wait, wait, do you see this? So we double click and we'll type in Monday. Gender. Okay, now check this out. This is cool. We click on it. We're open five days. So I grab this. You have to wait for the plus sign to come up like this on this block. And you hold down your mouse or your touchpad and you drag. So this would be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. When I let go, boom, it fills it in for you. It knows that. Really smart program. So there's a shortcut big time. You don't have to type in all these things. Cool. All right. So let's keep going over here. This is going to be, um, we're going to put the total here because this will tell us how many items we sold. So just type in total. You can see that while I type it here, it also appears in the formula bar or the data bar, but you can do it in either one. Now go over here and we're going to put the cost. Once again, the cost, push enter when you're done, by the way. The cost is uh, how much we pay for it as the business owner. Then we're going to put the price, which is how much we're charging people. And this is going to be margin. This is probably something you haven't heard about. But if you go into business school, you'll sure know what it means. Margin is the difference between how much we charge and how much we actually paid for it. And then the last one is going to be um, profit, which is how much we make money. All right, cool. All right, so you'll notice that on this, we have, you know, we've made this different colors. We're going to do that eventually. We've bolded some things, but we'll do that later. Um, actually, we could do some of it now. Let's do that. Click on Bob's, and uh, all you do is you click on the two, and it's going to highlight the entire row. Okay, the entire row. And if I click B, it bolds everything in it. Okay. So that's neat. Okay, we also want to, uh, we'll do that later. Okay, let's go down here and we're in uh, A3 now. We're going to put our items that we're going to sell. We'll put about, I don't know, seven or eight items maybe. So double click. And let's see, this will be a, This would be a plain dog. Plain hot dog. All right. The next thing is going to be, let's put in, um, let's see, cheeseburger. Next, gyro. Uh, let's see. Fries. A small fry. Small fry. Large fries. We got one, two, three, four, five things. Let's, um, we want to, let's do a, uh, we'll say regular, whoops, <laughs> regular drink. Large drink. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Fill that in. I already did it. I don't know why, but I don't want that. So I'm just going to type over it. Large drink. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things. Let's see. What else can we put? Oh, let's see. Um, it's, we're going to call it Dog Supreme. That's going to be a dog with everything on it. And then let's put one more thing that would be maybe uh, some kind of dessert. 
let's say, uh, they were famous for their brownies. I don't know. Brownie. Boom. Okay, that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things. That's good enough. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at this other one. Notice that we have this bolded. We'll, we'll deal with this color stuff. But I noticed that the setting up, when I put my items, I usually align them left. But the rest of it, I like to align them in the middle. And there's an easy way to do that. I like to align everything in the middle. It just looks better to me. So here's an easy way to do that. Hold on a second. All right, so there's an easy way to do that. You can you can click the the entire row. I mean, yeah, the column, I'm sorry. You can click the column, it lights up. And you could go over here to align and center it there. And that'll no matter what we put in here, it'll center it. Or we can do this too. We can click this. If you hold the shift key down and click all these. Just keep clicking by hold and hold the uh, shift key down. It'll do it all at once. So let's do that. Um, you can also, let me show you this real quick. Instead of doing that, I think you can just hold this. No, I lied. You can't. Okay. Let's do, let me do that again. All right. And then go to alignment up here. Or is, we're going to center align that. It'll look better. So as we enter our data, we'll be able to, you know, it'll look better. Okay, let's um, go here and click in, um, we're in B3. We're going to just type in numbers. We're going to make up how many dogs we sold Monday, Tuesday, et cetera, and fill this all in. All right, so let's um, see how many hot dogs. We say we sold, I don't know, 55. Make sure you're putting the same numbers I am because then you can see if your formulations are correct later on. Um, how many cheeseburgers? Less, 35. How many gyros? 42. Small fries? 61. Large fries? 68. A regular drink, 57. Large drink, would be 53. How many Dog Supremes? I'm going to say 39. And how many Brownies? Probably a lot less. We're going to go with 28. All right, so those are how many we did on Monday. Let's go over here to Tuesday. Monday might be a slow day, okay? So Tuesday might be a little bit more, I don't know, maybe the same. We're gonna go 58, cheeseburgers, 36, gyros, maybe less, 32, small fries, 54, large fries. Let's put in uh, 57. Regular drinks, 61. Large drink, 50, or four, I'm sorry, 48. Dog Supreme, we'll go 42. And a brownie, let's say we only sold 21 of those. Okay. So. I'm just pushing enter after each item so it locks it in. All right, Wednesday, we'll go, uh, how many How many dogs? 62, cheeseburgers, 34, gyros, 51 that day, small fries, 36, large fries, 48, large drink, we'll go 50. Uh, four, large drink, 52, dog supreme, 
35. And brownie, a lot less this day, 15. Okay. Thursday. Now we're going to probably pick up business because people are getting close to the weekend. Friday will be our big day, but let's say the plain dog, we got 71. Cheeseburger, 43. Gyro, 53. Small fry, 51. Large fry, 50. Regular drink, I'm going to say 63. A large drink, let's go 48. Dog Supreme, 44. And a brownie, this time we got 31. All right, Friday's our big day. I'm going to go with Plain Dog, 80. Cheeseburger, 53. Gyro, 49. Small fry, 65. Large fry, let's go with 55. Regular drink, 64. Large drink, 62. Dog Supreme, 50. And a brownie, this time 36. Okay, that's all I sold for the week. All right, so the total, we're going to use a formula for that. So we're not going to do that until next video. Um, the cost and the price, we can enter those. Okay, so these are all going to be, this is going to be money, 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 money. So what you can do is the same as we did before, where it says cost, go like this. And there's a dollar sign right here. So do that. Format currency. Boom. Now everything I put in here will turn into currency or money. All right. The cost is going to be for a hot dog, plain hot dog. What's it cost us to make? We're talking cents probably. So I'm going to go. It only costs us 75 cents. So it's 0.75, push enter. Oh, it didn't work. Why did not that work? Well, hold on. Money? There we go. Huh. All right, make sure it has a dollar sign there. Okay. Cheeseburger. What's it cost us to make that? A buck 25. Boom. Make sure the dollar sign's there. How much does it cost us to make a gyro? Same. Dollar. 25 small fry is not going to cost us as much so I'm just going to a dollar regular drink oh I'm sorry large fry is going to cost a little bit more it's going to cost us a dollar 45 the regular drink going to cost us to purchase it's going to be minimal I'm going to go 0.50 not even we go 40, 40 cents for a regular drink. That's for us to pay for it, not the consumer. Large drink, 60 cents. So I'm making all this up. A dog supreme, I'm going to say it costs us a buck to make that. And a brownie, that would cost us per brownie, probably like 25 cents or something. There we go. So there's that. We're just entering this data. There's no formulations needed here yet. Now, um, let's put the price that we're charging our people. So once again, click the column and push the money currency. Make sure this works. All right. What are we going to charge for a plain hot dog? I'm going to say a buck 75. Boom. There we go. That's what we're charging. Um, what are we charging for a cheeseburger? I'm going to say two bucks. Gyro. 
40 bucks. Small fry. Uh, 275. Large fry. 350. Regular drink. What's we gonna charge for that? A buck and a quarter. Dollar twenty-five. Large drink. Two. Two dollars. All right. A dog supreme. So we got a dollar seventy-five for a regular dog. We're gonna make this two fifty. Yeah. Um, a brownie. We're gonna charge a dollar and a quarter. So that's what we're charging. All right, so we're going to figure out the rest of this, and we're going to use um, formulas for the rest of this, and it goes really, really quickly. It's pretty awesome. Then we'll color coat this and make it look great. So for now, that's good. We've set this up, and we'll revisit this another time, and we'll do the formulations and finish this up. Because once we enter the data, the rest goes very, very quickly. So I'll see you next time.